Hi, beautiful souls. It's incredibly misty this morning. Huge sea fret. Can't see the sea from up in the fields. Um, you'll see I'm just covered in mist. Having to keep close watch on that little dog because he's walking a little bit ahead today. He's being a big grown up boy. Big grown up boy. Livestock guardian dog. So, um, last night I had very strange dreams. I think that uh, everybody can feel the energies right now. I did a really strange thing to myself. I was letting a bee out of the kitchen window and I need a whisk in order to open the window because it just springs open and it's very hard to, to uh, it's, it's hard to open it because it's over the sink. So um had a little bit of interest with my shoulders so I used the other arm and in using the other arm and I also needed to go to the loo at the same time I managed to <laughs> managed to do something to my back. It was like being winded and um the bee got out safely. That was that was the main goal was to get the bee out safely. Beautiful bee it was. One of those beautiful bumblebees with a a dark orange bottom, like a golden brown orange bottom. Huge, great big bumblebee. Beautiful. Um, so anyway, the energies are really strong at the moment and I'm sure that a lot of people can feel them. I've been looking at the sun and the sun's been very hidden by all of the sea fret. But there's a lot of um, chemtrails in the sky and um, rather than getting upset about them, which is something that uh, can keep light workers um, from doing their work, is to transmute them, is to be aware of them and to, to, um, to just transmute them. If you get un angry and cross about things, then you're basically I mean, it's easy to get angry and cross about things, but if you do that, you're just um, not helping the situation. So you've always got to be aware and conscious in each moment so that you can send love, love to the sun, love to the planet, love to the, to the air, love to the people and to the plants and to the nature and to the kingdoms, the natural kingdoms, the elementals, and send peace out to this planet and to all inhabitants of the planet which is all life forms so my dream last night was really peculiar I couldn't sleep I was in so much pain with this winding and uh, again I felt like my body was a, a bird like breaking through and you know it was it was like that sort of sensation again like breaking out of a, an egg and the amount of rebirths I keep having at the moment is very interesting. And um, in my dream I was walking along the prom and I came to a big, big turtle who was upturned over a boat. And I thought to myself, that's interesting. And then in the dream, days passed and I came to the turtle again. I thought, why is the turtle still there? And I went and inspected and it was a woman, a woman that I know, a local woman. And then that that uh, sort of turned into that she was no longer alive and nobody had reported it and she was just there, part turtle, part woman. And I was like, why has no one reported this? Why is everyone walking by ignoring this? Why is everyone ignoring this? So I reported it. And at the same time, I had some new people that had moved in to a house I was in, a, living in a sort of a, there was a sort of a central square with these places to live around it. And um, this couple had moved in, they'd put fairy lights around their little sort of patio area. And they were there temporarily. Um, it turned out the man was some well-known person in this time space, not this time space that we're in now, but in some time space, he was some well-known person. And, I had Boo Boo with me and this funny little animal and it looked like some sort of hybrid. There was lots of vegetation around us and, um, and 
I looked at the animals like, what is it? What is that? And I think my sister's cat had come into the dream too. Um, anyway, this creature was sort of like a mottled golden brown and dark brown and um, quite like the bumblebee actually in colours. And um, it was small, like a cat, but it also looked like a mixture between something else. And I thought, is it even possible that a cat could breed with some other kind of like animal, like some possum or something like this? And it kept on disappearing. It said hello to Boo Boo. It sniffed his nose. And he was quite all right with it. He was not wanting to eat it or chase it or anything, which I was really surprised about. And um, I kept looking for it and I was thinking, I wonder if it's the new people's animal, like what is it? And then I saw it again in their house through this window. And then it came over to me and it was a dragon. It was the most beautiful little dragon. It was a furry little dragon and it had hidden its sort of wings. So I didn't really see its wings before, but the wings were translucent and they were sort of like a turquoisey colour, like a, a bluey turquoise. So it was bluey turquoise with gold and, and brown. It was really gentle, really, sm really small because it was like a, like a small cat in size. But it had a very different head, different legs. <laughs> it was very different to a cat, but you know, that's the only thing that I can really say it was similar to. But it was like obviously looking like a hybrid. That's why I was so intrigued to know what it was. And it was this lovely little dragon. And uh, then I looked around and I realized that everything was very, very peaceful and golden. And um, and in amongst all of this, I was still trying to bring awareness to this this uh, big turtle that was this lady, this regular dog walker, in fact, and that the turtle was needing reporting because that's what you do. And yet everyone didn't really. St everyone was just walking past it like they just were, just didn't see it. They just weren't aware of it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what what that means when people are just not aware of of um, of something that has passed on. Um, and of course, grandmother turtle, very significant. End of time. But we all know end of time, beginning of time. It's um, new beginnings. Just keep releasing, keep letting go. Keep seeing different things. Keep letting go of beliefs. I think if anybody's still hanging on to their beliefs, they really need to just let those go because they're not serving you. If you want to move into a different time, time of love, new earth, higher possibilities, more beauty, more kindness, more love, more compassion, more unconditional love, then you do have to let go of your beliefs. Beliefs just hold you back. Old paradigms, old patterns, let go of them. Um, you need to strengthen your nervous system, let go of your emotions, they aren't yours. They're all constructs. Um, let go of them by clearing them, actually clearing them. This is, some, this is the inner work, you know, this is what a lot of people don't realise. They don't really understand what the inner work means and how, what it entails. It, it actually takes time because you can't do it all at once. You have to do it as and when it comes up, when something surfaces, be aware of it, feel it. Under, not, you don't have to understand it too much, but then you just have to transmute it. And the way you do that is just through love, through love. Love is actually the answer to everything. Love is a way of life and love is where we're heading. Lanto, stop please little one. Let's just stop. That's a good boy. Mommy's going to put your bleed on now. Okay, so good to speak to you all. Take care and have a beautiful day. Peace.